What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Miami Hurricanes Dynasty in College Football 25. So I got a big game on tap in this one because facing rank, a ranked NC State team, and I've got several huge, huge recruits visiting. So I've got, I've got I think, a couple of five stars visiting. So this is a massive game. Oh, and if you're new to Dynasty, be careful about using too many recruiting points before your first big game game the Because I made that mistake and I wasn't able to have any recruits visit for the Turner trying to create good field position here. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Hurricanes offense will get the first swing today. And there comes the star running back onto the field. He is a special talent. You talk to opponents, he's always the focal point when they face this offense. Boy, Chris, this guy is special. It's almost like he floats across the field. I mean, I don't think anyone can take him down in the open field. He's the guy that teams try to key him, but sometimes it feels as though no one can contain him. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Second down after that run on the previous play. 96 away. Sticking with the running game. Breaking free at the 35. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Good job up front by this offensive line. Good hard running. But as Miami Hurricane back, he's doing everything he can to live up to the long legacy that the Canes have at this running back position. Solid game. Moves the ball to the 43. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play call. Oh, I put that guy was going to make that defense think they're going to run. I put that guy was going to come over there. The getting away the pass. The Hurricanes moving quickly down the field here. Thank you. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. So Martinez is not even in his eyes when we're watching the yards and he's not on the ball ever. Another nice play right here. This defense can't stop him. Just keep feeding him the football. Brought down after a solid run by the senior. This is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up the football game. Everything seems to be working. Whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they could be in for a long day. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or do they have to settle for three? That one is yeah, incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Hey, the good I'm news is here, go Chris, they're it. still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. I'm gonna but go for they it. could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So their first drive of the game, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Aggressive start. Easy. The shotgun handoff yeah, here. Oh, they've stopped yeah, it short. Mistake. What oh, a well. fourth down play, and they will oh, take stupid. over on downs now. So NC State's offense down. comes out for their first possession today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Here's the handoff. Just a short game this time, but able to get him down. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just wanting to battle up front the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This 
stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Uh, that guy's they bring it down, yeah, but he does. reaches the 30 yard uh, line. NC State comes to the line quickly. Scanning the field, it's Carter. Quick throw to his receiver, but they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. You know, bring him down after just a short pickup. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Nice play, incomplete, and now there you go. down. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route, just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. Last time out there, they got stopped on fourth down, but it didn't cost him anything. Let's see what the mindset is here. We're going to run it. Right, come on, Tackle guys. behind the doing? line. It's a loss of two. They don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's good. usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against That's the run. Right. Well. That's what I'm saying. I love the route here by the receiver. Really sold. He's going vertical downfield. Ends up coming back to the football to pick up big yards. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. The Hurricanes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. It keeps you on schedule, and you Let's get ready for that next play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try the catch back, see if we can go anywhere. Right. Second down after that run on the previous play. Anyway. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Got the first down. Now looking for more. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. I love how they're using the receiver here in motion. With a weapon like this, just get him the football. Simple throw for the quarterback. He's got all that speed built up. You get him the ball out there in space with a couple blockers, and you get big plays like this right here. We've uh, seen you've able to make the stop after a short game. Offense is not doing too well. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And there's the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Here we go. Third down close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. Uh, the basketball is incomplete as that. time expires in the first quarter. So, Kirk, we reach the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. Shit, I gotta hurry up. The offense couldn't convert on fourth down the last time in this situation. Let's see if they can this time. There's the snap. Quarterback yes. setting up the throw. That's incomplete. A fourth down stop. Turnover on downs. So the NC State offense is back out on the field now. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop. The offense pinned back. Looks over the middle and that's complete. He'll earn the first down, but pay for it with a hard hit. 
One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Ah, dang it, guys. He he it wide it's open it's receiver it's downfield. Oh, and he's in the clear uh, now. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen. That's good coverage there. And Miami offense is back on the field. Last position, they moved it down to the scoring position, but got stopped on fourth and goal. Got to put that behind him. Chris, it's the consistency of this back has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield on play action. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Here's the snap. Yes. Offense looking to throw the ball. Makes the catch. It's Joseph. And Blaine moves the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. It's nice execution to pick up the first down. A little curl rod curve against the zone. Yeah, when you play zone coverage like this, it's very difficult to defend this route if the quarterback does a nice job of reading the coverage. I thought he used his eyes there to be able to move the defense where he wanted them, created an opening in that defense, and then he made a great throw for that first down. Second down play coming up. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. They stop him, but it's a first down. Well, this back is running very well today, living up to so many great backs that they've had over the years at Miami. Edrin James and Frank Gore and Lewis Gagan, Clinton Portis. All those guys won a lot of games and ran the ball well. Right now, they got to be loving what they're seeing from this back. Looking to throw it on first down. On the run, going to heave it downfield. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. And here's the handoff. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Keynes. Runner shows toughness and will refusing to be brought down. Ends up in the end zone. Yeah, that defender had no chance bringing down this ball carrier by himself. That's why you better have a couple defenders or else you're going to have more touchdowns like this. Extra point knocked right down the middle. The BAT ties the game here in the second quarter now. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. So here comes the Wolfpack offense back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Please tackle. Thank they pick you. up four, so second down and six coming up. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. Keeping it on the ground here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. We'll take a quick pause before the half as we reach the two-minute warning. Chris, textbook job by the defense, surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. 
Look at the protection there. Lots of time. Damn, I didn't know what he did. Nobody did. Nobody can right. bring him down. Why they bring him down, but that? that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. Did, nobody did a thing. First down, looking to throw the ball. With the catch, it's smothered. Defense surrounds it. Just a short gain on that completion. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Okay, oh, it's so bad. Not a long return, but the pick changes possession. The offense will take over at the 28. Boy, just a drive killer right there, Chris. And he seemed to throw that ball with much confidence. Just put it up for grabs, and the defense comes down. First down, looking to throw the football. Looks like he's going to run it. Breaks loose at the 40. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. This is just a great job of understanding situational awareness by this quarterback. Nobody's open downfield, so instead he decides to buy a little bit of time by scrambling, gets out of the pocket, and he gets to the sticks and just gets the first down. Brought down the crosses midfield to the 46. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds the soft spot on the curl and picks up the first down. A little bit more blocking there, KD. Or, oh, whatever. Except for second down. And he's got it again. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. But that last carry, Chris, puts him right at 100 yards for the game. How's he done it? Because he's been patient. He's followed his blocks. He's let everything develop in front of him. And he's busted through for some big games. And the game starting a new series here on first and ten. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. There's a shot toward the end zone. And he scores. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown for the U. Chris, this guy's yeah. listed as a tight end, but to me, he's really a wide receiver. Here's an example of how he can use his size and speed to overmatch this defense for a touchdown. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Preserve that momentum. The Turner looking to make a play here. The Turner brought down. Sets up the next drive. Here comes the NC State offense back out on the field now. We'd expect a prudent decision here backed up near their own end zone. Just run the clock out and get to halftime. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Oh, nice throw by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Well, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception in the last drive. Thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. Not a long return, but the important thing that they wipes out a scoring throw. The offense will take over from the 29. Well, it looks like somebody did a great job of preparing himself to get ready for this football game. It's his second interception in this game so far. Obviously reviewed the tape, is locked in on his fundamentals. That's a big-time player making big-time plays. And he heads out of bounds after a nice pickup on the run. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. He's moving out of the pocket now. Fighting him off. He moves. has a first and goal now. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. The Kings will line up here on first down and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown, Miami. 
I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job. That's a massive just touchdown. Finding the hole and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. So an important touchdown this before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. So no return here. He takes it in the end zone and they'll begin the drive at the 25. So it's first down, but they just kneel down before halftime here. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific start from there in beautiful Miami Gardens. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. They just gave him so flipping long to throw the ball out there. Kane's going to kick this away to get the second half going. Get this one away. And the return starts just inside the end zone. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. So the NC State offense is back out on the field now. They're going to run the option. They hit him behind the line, and out comes the football. <laughs> so the offense had to recover it there. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. Looking to pass, it's Carter. Makes a quick catch. It's a solid game. Moves the ball out to the 28. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down. And you see more positive yards after the catch here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground. It's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Second down, we're going to throw it. Catch Hall in here over the middle. Ball carrier wrapped up right now. It's good timing there. Receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're going to run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line. Because this play takes some time for the receiver to walk his way across the field on that drag route. And the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage yeah. and make the accurate throw. Should have pushed him back. Like NC State will have the first down. I wanted to push him first back down right there. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way. What was that? <laughs> what that was. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do. They're going to pass on him for a big turnover. Take a fight again. Yeah, I think that was a, that was a, that was a failed quarterback draw. <laughs> comes the line of the offense back Absolutely out on the field. Destroyed that this group has been clicking. They've really built momentum from the defense. Make adjustments. Come up with a stop here. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. Here's the second down play. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Hurricanes are in the red zone.
play action here on first down. Launching one to the end zone. Oh, shit. Intercepted in the end zone. Oh, damn it. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. If they get the interception, now can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Just a great job here by this linebacker to be able to come up with that sack there on the blitz. A big play for this defense. And man, Chris, you think about the linebacker play at the University of Miami over the years. It starts with Ray Lewis, and it could end with it, to be honest. But the list just keeps going. Michael Barrow, Jonathan Vilma, and Dan Morgan. You can go on and on and on, and this guy right now is trying to live up to that standard. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop to the offense pin back. He's going for a big Damn play it, down the field. The catch is made for a huge pickup. The corners pick don't stay oh, with him on deep passes very often. Touchdown. They don't do a good job of staying with him. Wait, the defense looks slow that time. Number. That's a crucial That's score. Good. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. They really struggle to do that with any consistency. Now, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter right. when the Please pressure really this game intensifies away, guys. and you have limited time. We should have a much bigger lead than we do. Let's do it the same way. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. They get it down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. Fresh set it down for the offense. First down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Extending the play now. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Man, nothing is more aggravating for a defensive coordinator than this right here. You've got it. You've got a chance to make a play on him, take him out of his rhythm, but instead, this guy gets away from that pressure, tucks it, and picks up some big yards. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown me everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. On the ground, it's Fletcher. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for offense, looking to scheme that position, open for some yardage, perfect execution here for first down. The Hurricanes with first and ten here. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They'll feed the back again. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. It's a toss play to the right. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricanes. That's a crucial touchdown. For the offense padding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. The go teams come on the field now to send this one away. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted. So here comes the Wolfpack offense back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here over the defense? Come up with a stop. Damn it. That one takes it across the third down. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, loads his pads, and gets a nice solid game. 
a shotgun run call. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Looking to throw. It's Carter. The pocket breaking down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. And as we take a break to flip ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the current national rankings. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Trying for a fourth down completion. Throws it to the right. The pass is incomplete. That's a big stop with his defense on fourth down. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Three guys up front, lined up. It's first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop. Second down after that previous play. That's a great way to start this drive after taking over in really good field position, working with the lead. Chance here for a knockout punch. And you'll get the first time yards before they finally bring it down. And the Canes are going to cash in this red zone trip. Damn it. Now I always forget. Alert. Enough didn't get the gotta... playoff. That'll cost him five yards. Delay of the game. Open. Open. I always forget with the motion plays. You gotta give it an extra second. Dangerous two. play call here for that five yard penalty. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. The senior able to make the stop after the a short game. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. That we'll take a timeout really when they check time. it out. Okay. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So the scramble comes up short, and now this offense facing a fourth down play. I just love the fact he doesn't take a sack here. In fact, I'm sure he can imagine hearing his coach saying it's third down, do not take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't quite get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yards. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here comes the NC State offense back out of the field now. That last possession, they got stopped on fourth down in their own end. Let's see if they can get it going this time. Oh, down to the catch made on the left side. Oh, and it breaks out. free. It's a foot that race. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, North Carolina State. That's the end. Chris, the timing between the quarterback and receiver here is exceptional. Great route here to sell that post to the inside and then break it off to the corner. And the quarterback anticipates it well, puts it on the money for that touchdown. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. It looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. Down here for this offense. 
defense. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. On the run, he's gonna Damn it, dude. Team. Why does he go oh, so far? Chance, Eddie, and I can't kill it that way. Why does he do that? Why is he coming down. back to it? Within range of where I'm throwing. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. And it, that incomplete. play's not open. He Stop making that play. It's he not open. The football. And it brings Stop up a third down. It to be open. It's not this quarterback's be. trying to do everything he can to give this play a chance. He gets out of the pressure off to his right. But man, did he take a hit and wasn't able and to complete this pass. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the third and six. When the defense gets these guys to third down, they get a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. The Canes pick up enough yards to keep this drive rolling. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The Canes line up with a first and goal. First and goal, handoff. And they've got him. Right now, Looks like a man is down in the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Up. Coming up, second down and goal. Cobra. Here's a handoff, testing the middle. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Kings. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go, like their odds of closing this game out. An extra point up and good makes it a three-score game, up 17 here in the fourth. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. So the NC State offense is back out on the field now. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Makes a quick grab. Yeah, I can set the first out. Spotted game. at the 39. I've had no now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Back to throw. It's Carter. Signs a quick throw. Defense makes the stop after the completion. NC State comes to the line quickly. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Why is nobody doing the their fucking job, Nobody's doing their job. Strong game by this quarterback. Pass I, love this I don't think they're going to have a chance to come all the way back, but here we are, under two minutes to go, and they Nobody continue to the show some system. fight. And then, you know what? Who knows? Maybe you cover an what onside kick and you get right back in it. Point after, up and good. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seat able to recover the football. Linebackers making some adjustments now. Doing. And here comes the Miami offense back out on the field. So this game is not over yet. You can see how the offense plays it. They love to choose some clock here, that but they get some points. Come on, man. Get your head out of your ass. Let's go. Ready. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. I had open space, but 
Good day. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Joseph. Touchdown for the U. It was a foot race, and he won it. The key to me in this is the quarterback gets the ball out of his hands early. Allows the receiver to run underneath that deep ball on that post route for a beautiful touchdown. An extra point up and good makes it a three-score game of 17 here in the fourth. Now they get set to kick it away. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. So here comes the Wolfpack offense back out on the field. First play of the drive now from the 25. Looking downfield, it's Carter. Good throw to the left. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. And he drops back in the gun. Let's it fly out of the wide. Wow, a third pick tonight by the QB. Look out, he's got some space. At the 20, crosses the 10. And he steps out of bounds after a great return. What a hit. Sets up the offense in great position. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying so you to can double bracket their best receiver. The That's what I'm going to start and the doing. Defense comes up with a big turnover. That could That's be the, the play I'm going to start calling a lot of because... I've got to stop letting the team, the guys, the best, you know, I've got to stop letting these guys burn me. And for the big man, or suddenly a great chance to score. First and goal from the three. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. That's a nice tackle there. I was stop buying that one. The defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason, he's already he scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. Ah, son of a bitch. Get tackle your ass in the line. Guys. It's a loss of two. Being a little B. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close Get to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. And they're trying to punch it in there. I can't get my ass in the end zone. Get your ass in the end zone, asshole. What are you doing? Get your ass in the end zone. Now a timeout is taken with just five seconds remaining. Timeout, Miami. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. And that one's straight down the middle. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. After the clutch field goal, they'll kick it off here. The offense has a long way to go. Need a touchdown, not much time. Return here from inside the 15-yard line. And the coverage team brings him down as time runs out. That'll do it. Game over. But here we are, midpoint of the season, and this group is still marching along undefeated, chasing a perfect record and getting a lot of attention curve at this point. Well, they're as good as anybody we've seen all year long in college football. They are headed towards that college football playoff and a shot at a national championship. Now, the thing is, they just need to remain focused on each week that lies ahead of them. If they're able to do that, they've got a dangerous football team here. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. With Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Scored 48 despite not scoring in the first quarter. Yeah. I'll take it.